watching. It's Friday night. We're in Hollywood. It's the end of the week, and I don't know about you, but I am ready to party. <laughs> I'm not really. I'm not. I'm gonna go home, uh, read emails, eat a bunch of peanut butter, and go to sleep. Yeah. You, by the way, you look like you've been, been enjoying. I noticed a half-empty bottle of. Uh, of Don Julio on the bar. Almost gone. Almost gone, yeah. <laughs> yes, you mean. Right. Well, in any event, I, I hope you brought your lofter tonight. Yeah. Let's say, uh, because it has been another day. It's been nice here, but it has been freezing around the country. It's like the final season of Game of Thrones in most places. The, but the good news is, it's supposed to start warming up this weekend, but until it does, we can look forward to our nation's weather people saying wow. It has been a heck of a stretch of weather across our area. Wow. These are icicles. Wow. Wow, look at how cold it is. Low temperatures. Wow. Three degrees. Wow. Wow, is it cold? Wow, it's cold. Wow. 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 Yeah. Now, sometimes wow covers it. So many Americans are without power right now. I don't know if anyone's even watching us, but uh, Texas is getting the worst of it. 165,000 homes in Texas still don't have electricity. Poor Ted Cruz, he had to keep warm last night by bundling up in the robes he stole from the Ritz-Carlton in Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> Flying Ted is laying low as the fallout continues from his 18-hour vacation, but he did get a big vote of confidence from Donald Trump. No, not that Donald Trump, the junior Donald Trump. Obviously, we understand sometimes you know, the optics of that right now isn't ideal, um, but in the grand scheme of things, you know, he's a senator. He doesn't manage crises in states. That's a governor's job. He's a federal employee. They mostly vote on things. So, you know, I'm not going to jump on this bandwagon of trying to cancel the guy uh, for taking his kids on a vacation. Again, maybe it's not the ideal time. Uh, quite certainly it's not, but like... Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like you've had enough breaks in your life. Uh, did, was he in the... <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who doesn't even represent Texas, managed to spend the last few days raising $2 million to help Texans in need. But go on with the thing about Ted Cruz. Let's be real. I'm happy to call out someone, even the people on our side, if they screw up. But honestly, in my opinion, this is not one of those times. Right, it's Miller time right now. It's <laughs> time to throw a few back and shoot a video from my toilet cam. Now, if I were a Trump, which I am, uh, you know, I'd come up with a nickname for something like this. Like maybe, I don't know, Cancun Cruise. It's funny, okay? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hilarious. You're really good at that. You, you know, I don't know what your plans are, but maybe you should open a nickname shop. Was he in the tequila with you? <laughs> no, it, no. Okay. he was born crazy. Okay, <laughs> all right. Ted Cruz might not even get the award for dumbest politician in the Lone Star State this week. There are a number of worthwhile nominees, led by Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Lieutenant Dan was on with Laura Ingram last night, and these guys, the governor, lieutenant governor uh, of Texas, while people are freezing literally to death in their state, they are very busy trying to blame it on windmills. Wind and solar combined is about 23% about at your best day, in other words, a few days a year. But during the winter time, because the sun's not out as much and the wind does not blow as much, um, we were counting on about 11 or 12%, maybe 14% from wind during, the, during this last week. We were down to 2% because the turbines were frozen. And there's a lesson here. The lesson is we cannot go down this road, Laura, of green energy. <laughs> you can't go down any roads because your streets aren't plowed because you didn't buy snow plows and you forgot to grease the windmills. But So maybe take a break from setting the planet on fire and we cannot go down the road of green energy. God forbid we did that. In better environment news, as of today, the United States has officially rejoined the Paris Climate Accord. And, and not only that, in an effort to get young people uh, involved, they're going to be calling it the Emily in Paris Climate Accord. <laughs> or Paris, is it Paris? President Biden is 
He's reinserting us back into everything Trump pulled out of. The Paris Accord, the Iran nuclear deal, the WHO. Look out, Stormy Daniels, you might be next. And having Donald Trump as president was like, I've been thinking about this, it's like when you're in a relationship with somebody who hates all your friends and you can't do things with, like, Germany or Canada because your terrible boyfriend made it so miserable. But now that you're broken up, you're hanging out with your friends again. You're back on the text chain. They knew he wasn't right for us. We just had to figure it out for ourselves. <laughs> Here's another promising development. Scientists here in the United States have successfully cloned an endangered species for the first time ever. This adorable little creature is a clone, a black-footed ferret named Elizabeth Ann. Elizabeth Ann was born to a surrogate mother, actually same one that carried uh, one of the Kardashian babies. <laughs> and scientists hope that she will eventually be able to mate and help rescue her species from the brink of extinction, which is a lot of pressure to put on a kid. But, um, <laughs> and the way they did it is crazy. They did not want to dip into the uh, gene pool. I think there are only a few of these ferrets left. So they cloned a ferret that died 30 years ago. Somebody saved the ferret juice or something. <laughs> and when this ferret came out, and she was like, hey, let's grab some new Cokes and go watch the Cosby show. <laughs> but, but so good news, finally, for the uh, black-footed ferret. Although, should we be cloning animals that sprint up your shorts and claw their way out your fly hole? <laughs> In Florida, where something weird is always happening, two young women were busted for trying to disguise themselves as old ladies in order to get the vaccine. The women, one in her 30s and the other in her 40s, put on bonnets and glasses and showed up at a vaccination site. Uh, there they are, Thelma and Fluise. They... I liked that a bonnet was part of the disguise. That's, that's how Bugs Bunny would dress as an old person to sneak in, but they haven't yet figured out what the penalty will be for... Do Police cited them for trespassing, but the interesting thing is they were trying to get their second dose, which means the first time they did this, it worked. The staff knew something was up when they noticed two old women who weren't complaining about how long the line was and called the police. What a story. Someone get Tyler Perry on the line, because we got Medea gets Moderna here. That is a hit. I mean, when the theater's open. In Virginia, a state senator is getting a lot of attention for her strong opposition to masks. Amanda Chase, who bills herself as Trump in heels, is a Virginia state senator and also a front runner to be the Republican candidate for governor. She's dumb, she won't wear a mask, <laughs> and since she won't wear the mask, they put her in a plexiglass box <laughs> at the meetings. You know, there are so many women out there like Amanda Chase inspiring young Karens around the world so <laughs> that we decided to make a new line of dolls out of the women who Mattel it like it is. Karen, the doll collection. So many choices. Express yourself. Where is your manager? So many Karens to choose from. With courtside Karen. F you, LeBron! Dog walker Karen. There's an African-American man threatening my wife. Storm the Capitol Karen. Nancy Pelosi eats babies for brunch. Barbecue Karen. I'm calling the police again. QAnon Congresswoman Karen. Wildfires were caused by Jewish space lasers. Pew, pew, pew. Courtroom Karen. I'm not day drunk, you're day drunk. And Trader Joe's Karen. I'm not wearing a mask at Trader Joe's. I have a breathing problem. Each inflexible doll comes with boot cut jeans, a big gulp, plenty of privilege, and a flip phone to call the police whenever she sees something suspicious. Collect them all before the Democrats steal them. Karen mask not sold separately because science is fake and she's an American citizen, not a sheep. It's my constitutional right. Don't tell her no. She's the absolute worst. Uh, speaking of the absolute worst, this is something I've been dreading all week. We're about to do something I don't want to do. Do you know what we're doing here, Guillermo? No, Jimmy, I don't. I don't. So after uh, what, uh, almost a year in lockdown, my wife has decided I have too much stuff. She always wants to get rid of my stuff, and so she came up with a game to help me. It's called Win Jimmy's Crap. That's right. And well, let's meet our host for the show, my wife Molly. Hello, Molly. Hi, Jimmy. Hi. How's it going? It's going all right. Now, explain what is happening here. 
Well, uh, today while you were at work doing whatever it is you do here, yeah. I was at home finding all your stuff and I brought it in here, the crap I really hate, and I'm gonna give it away tonight. Uh-huh. And well and I don't know <laughs> I don't know what she's picked. No, which you is don't. the worst part of the whole thing. Let's meet our first contestant. Oh great, all right. Yes, let's meet our first contestant. Hi, Hi first contestant. Hello. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Molly. Hi. Hi. Happy Black History Month, y'all. Happy, Happy Black History Month. Uh, Herbie, are you a real person or a cartoon? <laughs> what? <laughs> you I, just seem very upbeat, very, very upbeat. I'm sorry, I'm already in a nasty mood. Oh, I'm sorry. I already like Herbie more than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which of my cherished belongings is Herbie playing for? Let me show you. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> yeah, for you, Herbie. <laughs> Herbie, you are playing. No, for no, Herbie. no way. American flag. No way. <laughs> Wait till the club. No, opens I've up. had those for a long. Those are my Fourth of July shoes. Yeah, well, they're not anymore. Ooh. Not anymore, Jimmy. Oh no. I am wearing those at the cookout. <laughs> Wait, okay. Herbie, what size shoe are you? Doesn't matter. Bigger than, bigger than yours, probably. Thirteen. Thirteen? Are you really a thirteen? No, no, I'm a nine. Yeah, no. All right. Well, those are a size eleven, uh, so I don't know if they're gonna fit her. Good Herbie. lord. Yeah. This is why people hate America, these shoes. Yeah, <laughs> all right. All right, so, so I'm, what gonna, now? I'm gonna ask Herbie a question. Uh -huh. If he answers them correctly, he gets to take these home. What if he gets it wrong? I get to keep them, yes? Nope, no. okay, yes. Herbie, <laughs> name any person, living or dead. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this is living or dead? Living or dead, Herbie. I gotta go with my favorite girl, Rihanna. Oh, I love Rihanna too. And I right. hate these shoes. Oh no! There you are. I appreciate Who's it. Who's next? Thank you, Herbie. Take Thanks, care Herbie. of those, Herbie. I'm sorry, Herbie. Oh, this is a stupid game. You're a stupid man. <laughs> What's your name? I am Sunshine. Hi, Sunshine. Hey, nice to meet you. Girl. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am from here. Awesome. So are we. Not yeah. really. Hi, Sunshine. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing? Bad. Really bad. <laughs> oh, it seems like it. Yeah. You know what's going to make it worse, Sunshine? What? You can win this. <laughs> uh... What is this? Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on. That was a gift. Well, now it's a re-gift. <laughs> Oh, who was it a gift from? That was a gift from Michael Wall, our lawyer here on the show, and I've been saving it. Michael Wall, uh, you're fired. And Sunshine, this can be yours if you answer this question correctly. It's a chalkboard, Sunshine. You can write anything you want on that. Yeah, you could write, like, I want a divorce on it. <laughs> question two. Yes. What fried food is a number one seller at the Iowa State Fair. Now, Sunshine. All right, that's not so I easy. don't want you to, I want you to think about the question, okay? Oh, no, think. okay, now it's not Long fair. Long hard about the question. Yeah. What is the number one selling fried food at the Iowa State Fair? Hmm. Think. Is it a corn dog? Yes, it is! Uh, goodbye, Mr. Pig. Bye, whatever this is. <laughs> Congratulations, Thank you, Sunshine. Sunshine. Thank you, Sunshine. Yeah, all right. I, I'll be honest, I wasn't that sad to see that one go. <laughs> Me neither, Jimmy. Me neither. All right, next contestant. Hi there. Hi. Hi, Vivi. You're Vivian? Yeah, Vivian. They you don't want Vivian. any of this crap, no, right? No, I do, I do. No, she doesn't, but she's got to go home with it anyway. Uh, all <laughs> right. Life rules. What do we have for Vivian? Why do we have these? Whoa, golf clubs. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm okay with this because those are not my golf clubs. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. You somehow agreed to let your manager, James Baby Doll Dixon, keep four sets of golf clubs in our house. Why? Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, one of those, two of those sets are mine, but yeah, okay, but are I'm glad they? you- Are they? Are they? Have you ever them. played golf? <laughs> no, not no, really. No, you haven't. <laughs> I haven't played golf either. Yeah, no, oh, you I'm golf. willing to learn. You know what else I have to tell you guys about this pair of golf clubs? I found a little, uh, 
weed in one of the pockets. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, I did. I believe that belongs to James Baby Bell Dixon. I, I did keep that for myself. And I also noticed that he's been playing at Trump National Golf. Oh. So I really would like these out of my house now. Well, those those may predate the presidency, but and right. also le predate legalized marijuana. But go ahead. Because this is such a nice gift, I'm going to ask a very tough question. Okay, very good. All right. Okay? Who won the 2005 Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album? Now, okay. I don't want you to answer right away, Vivian. I want you to think about it. I want you to look around. I want you to think. <laughs> Who won that Grammy, Vivian? Obama. Yes! Oh, oh, congratulations, congratulations, Vivian. Congratulations. All right, well, there you go. That was... We'll never, that was the last time we ever play Win Jimmy's Crap. Thank we you, Molly. We will do it once a month. I'm going to smoke pot with Vivian. All right, you and Vivian <laughs> head to the driving range. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.